Meghan Markle seemed tense and low-key on stage just a fortnight before the release of a shocking new book about the royal family, says an expert. Oled Scobie made global news when he published Endgame, which alleges Prince Harry was left in the dark about Queen Elizabeth's health decline before her passing and includes Meghan's claims that two royals were worried about how dark baby Archie's skin might be. Before the book hit the shelves, Oled shared snippets and gave readers a taste of what each chapter held. During this period, Meghan supported her pal me son Harriman at his first film event. Body language guru Judy James reckons she appeared tense while on stage. In fresh photos from the event, the Duchess of Sussex is seen on stage with David Oyelowo and Misun. Speaking to the Mirror, Judy said, We should NT underestimate the effort Meghan is putting in to look poised and confident here, but despite that I think she still ends up looking tense. She stated, Director chairs are notoriously difficult to sit in, with just a small foot ledge that only works if you're either very tall or wearing flat casual boots, but Meghan is neither, meaning her elegantly folded legs and the way her feet are positioned in her heeled shoes would have required some thought and effort. Judy also commented on Meghan's outfit choice. Her brown outfit looks deliberately low-key and her overall pose is an unusual one for Meghan when she appears on any stage. Become an Express Premium member support fearless journalism read the Daily Express online. Advert free get super fast page loading start 30-day free trial her brown outfit looks deliberately low-key and her overall pose is an unusual one for Meghan when she appears on any stage, she explained. Meghan is such a keen and talented speaker she is normally showing the look of a coiled spring, waiting to speak. But Judy noticed Meghan seems different in this snap. Here though she is purely in quiet listening mode, with not just her legs crossed in a barrier, but her hands folded on her lap, too. Her face looks thoughtful, maybe even a bit sad, she observed. Judy wrapped up saying, when she does unfold her hands it's the gesture they form that really suggests some inner tension. Her fingertips touch each other point on here, which is a polite looking precision ritual without any trace of feelings of relaxation. Oled's latest book made waves after a Dutch version named Two Royals as the ones who supposedly had concerns about how dark Meghan and Prince Harry's baby's skin might be. This bombshell was first dropped by the Sussexes in their tell-all chat with Oprah Winfrey. Oled recently admitted that he did mention the supposed royal racists in an early draft of his book. He explained last week that uncleared text was given to a Dutch publisher with the intention that a translation would be updated to reflect the final version of the book. Dutch publisher Zahn de Ujever admitted an error had occurred which led to the naming. Despite this, Oled consistently denied ever naming the royals. He told the BBC, The book I wrote, the book I edited, the book I signed off on, did not have names in it. However, writing for the Eye Online, he said, The only publisher I worked directly with was the one covering the US and UK. Without my knowledge at the time, early and uncleared text was provided to the Dutch publisher for them to start on translation with the understanding their translation would be updated to reflect the final version of the book I officially submitted. He stated that versions in other countries perfectly replicated the finished work, adding, the finished book I submitted was not the version published in the Netherlands. Asterisk 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 an AI tool was used to add an extra layer to the editing process for this story. Asterisk 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 follow Daily Express US get all the latest news, entertainment, sport and lifestyle updates from our dedicated American team. Follow Daily Express US on Facebook and Twitter at Expressious News.